Welcome back. It is Cam Cowboy here with another video. It is the new update, and we have the Guard Expedition. So we're going to be starting fresh on this awesome uh, expedition. So let's go ahead and get into it. Just set up your guards, you know, for combat. I have a lot of the new guards, and let's go ahead and get into it. Now, they definitely don't want to make this too extreme and too awesome. The rewards, I think they really downrated it. Just because they know um, everyone's going to be going right into this and doing really well with it. But the rewards still aren't that bad. So I enjoy it. I appreciate it. I'm actually going to be using all these rewards to increase my guards even further. And probably my next video. But I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, run through this really quickly. See how far we can get. Um, I actually went back into the guard expedition last night um, since it's back up right now and well depending on when I post this video but I went ahead and I was able to get a little further with the uh, upgrades I did to my guards because of this video and well because of everything else that I've been preparing for the cheaper hero store and the cheaper expedition guard uh, purple fragments So, I mean, it's it's going to take a while. We're still in the low expedition pass. Getting some nice fragments that I'll be able to turn in for some more hero store points and coins. But I've got pretty much all the premium guards. And the problem is you can't really get the fragments from them. I mean, you could get them with these recruitment banners. However, the odds of you getting the ones that you want and need are going to be really slim and it's just not cost effective. I like the way that they sell the fragments now. Um, they didn't do that when I played King of Avalon and I made it extremely expensive to get nice guards. But, you know, right now it's really nice and everything's turning out really well. But you still have to spend to get these premium guards. Um, and I really like some of my premium guards. Kitty, I, I've been seeing a lot of people take her up past two stars and I just really want to, con you know, cement the fact that do not do that. Take Kitty up to two stars and leave her. If you want to go to five stars, that's fine. But don't bring her up past two stars if you don't plan on going to five stars. You're just wasting your money at that point. Money that could be better spent elsewhere to improve other guards, your new gemstones, airship parts, your airship experience. So keep that in mind. So we're just going to continue going along through this. All right, now the rewards are getting a little better. So this is nice. Alright, now we're at 
March path 10. It goes up to 12 normally, but now they've extended it to like 14, and now it's even extended further up to like path 16, I believe. So, you know, just having some fun going through it, still losing so few troops. Um, the little expedition store coins are really increasing now, but we've maxed out how much um, recruitment banners you will get per level. It stops at 10, which is a shame. You have to do three in order to be able to acquire um, one roll with the uh, recruitment banners. But now we're going for the expedition coins to be able to get the sealed fragments and get exactly what I want. So that's nice. I appreciate that. I'm not going to be using like these uh, guard fragments that I'm getting at the end of each trial path um, just because I only use the premium guards for the combat. So I'm just going to be exchanging these in for the hero store coins and then buying more sealed guard fragments. Alright, now we got Galileo Galley. That'll be extremely helpful to get our 60% troop training speed buff. And now we're just going to continue going in on it. We're in Trial Path 13. There's no accolades, so no extra, you know, free stat bonuses, which is a shame, but at the same time, didn't really expect them to make them. Now I'm losing about half my march, so we're getting closer towards the end and where I'm going to stop being able to go any further. But a little later I'm going to show you another video when I change that fact by making my guards really awesome. I'm actually going to try changing up my guards and what I'm sending in and seeing if that will maybe make a difference, but it doesn't because Benoit is going to be better for these paths than it will be to use, say, Madame Lenoy. So I'm going to stick with Benoit. Um, I'm going to, you know, keep going, keep spamming these attacks and see if I can go any further. I want that Duke of Bunkingham, so I'm going to do everything I can to get that. But I sadly stall out right here, so I can't go any further. Taking a look, and I'm like, okay, this makes no sense. I've got this guy well beat. He's got me beating a couple small areas, like troop attack, but I've got him everywhere else by a large percentage, so I don't understand this whatsoever. Let's try to go ahead and put in Madeline Oi, get that extra march capacity. See if that will make a difference, and it doesn't. It just gets me more troops killed, so that's a shame, but... Go ahead and put back in Blanchett and call it a day on there. And then let's see how far we can get with the rewards I just got. So we got some Blanchett. That's nice. Some Duke of Buckingham. Those are both very helpful. Um, and, let's, and we only get two full rolls. We got, oh, a whole lot of Duke of Buckingham. I like that. Some Captain Treble. That's nice. And let's just go for the... You know, one each. Okay, got another Blanchet fragment. That's nice. And we're all done there. So that was it. But now we have 310,000 um, expedition points. Can't go any further whatsoever. So let's go ahead and redeem this. But no, I'm going to save that for another video. We're going to be taking... Um, Duke of Buckingham up to five stars. I'm just going to check. So you get one fragment for Duke of Buckingham, but I'll get two for Jules, Mazarin, and two for Gustav, um, Galileo. So in my next video, I'll show you all my upgrades. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.